Greetings, YouTube. Last Gunslingers 3759 here. Uh, and I'm continuing my videos as requested by Dan from Two Canadian Air Guns. I just want to show off my collection, my new obsession with air guns. Uh, I will be returning to blades and swords soon. But we're here to talk about this pistol. All right, this will be the second pistol that I've purchased uh, in my line of air guns. Uh, it is made by a company called CZ, which is also a, uh, well, actually, it's made by ASG, as you can see from the box. It's made by ASG, and it is authorized and licensed by CZ. Now, CZ is an actual firearms company, okay? They manufacture uh, many firearms, all semi-automatic pistols. Very, very popular pistols, all right? Very, very good pistols. Quality is very high. Price is is all over the place, depending on which one you get. Now, this particular pistol is an SP-01 Shadow, which is a match version of the CZ-75 pistol. All right, uh, the match version means that it's been re-outfitted to be more accurate uh, and um, for uh, competition. All right, so as you can see, it does have the the rail system here. If I can get that to focus, focus, focus. It's not focusing. <laughs> as you can see, you have the rail system here. You have the dovetail on the back, and of course, the uh, the most e expensive feature of the pistol, since the real pistol runs about sixteen to seventeen hundred dollars, is the match trigger. All right, where it is actually adjustable to uh, change your trigger trigger pull weight as well as uh, how uh, how fine the action is so you can actually set it up to be a hair trigger if you're used to that sort of thing so let's move that out of the way and then we're going to show you the actual pistol so here is the actual pistol uh, let me move that back okay so here's the actual pistol it is all polymer as a lot of CZ pistols are all right, as far as the replicas for uh, BBs. Now, this is, of course, the 1.177 or 4.5 millimeter. Now, it is all polymer construction, all right, except for a few pieces. Of course, the barrel itself is metal, right? It is non-rifled. Uh, you have rubber grips, which are actually extremely contoured and very, very comfortable, all right? And this is an actual representation of the real pistol. It has all the same markings as you can see here. All right, uh, of course, without the uh, the warnings, okay, the warnings are a legal thing, but they are not on the real pistol. Uh, they have the serial number here, which is, you know, uh, something that the real pistol would have, and so on and so forth. Uh, and, of course, it does say uh, made in Taiwan, and uh, the real one is made in Czechoslovakia. Now, uh, while this is an extremely comfortable pistol, as I said before, uh, it does not have blowback action, so it is all one single piece. There's no moving parts. This does not move. All right, you have a fiber optic front sight, which you can see here, okay? And then, of course, you have the uh, dovetail rear, rear sight, which is non-adjustable, unfortunately. But that's okay, because it actually does shoot pretty straight. Uh, it is running at about 360 FPS or so. Okay, and it does have a 17 round capacity. So let's take a quick look at the magazine. And this is one of the reasons why I really got into air guns because realism is coming back in a big way. Uh, this is the full size magazine that comes with the CZ SP01 Shadow. Uh, it is 75% plastic. All right, and then of course the top is metal. Now, this is an interesting, uh, and this is going to come in later when we start talking about the trigger. Uh, there is a loading mechanism here that um, is going to engage the trigger and instead of just having the hammer hit this plunger and sending the CO2 gas out of the cylinder into the tube and launching the round down range, it's actually going to slide this forward which will pick up the BB from the loading port and push it into the breech. Okay? So, until you get used to it, the actual trigger pull is a little bit weird because you can actually feel the inside mechanism engage this slide and push this forward before you actually get to the point where you can feel the trigger 
you know, you know where it's going to break and the actual hammer is going to fall and launch that round down range. All right, now uh, standard follower, spring loaded. Okay, pull this down to the bottom. Now, as you can see, there is no uh, loading port. Okay, so you will be loading your BBs one by one in here. It is a pain in the butt. Okay, however, uh, there is some hope. All right, because uh, that does lock down. Okay, it does lock down at the end. Now, what you can use, and what I do use, is a as a speed loader from Umarex. All right, now you'll see me bringing this up in many videos. All right, you can get this from Amazon. Now, I will put a link in the description. It costs about eight bucks. All right, you can get them for eight. You can get them for more expensive than that. Depends on where you get it from. I get it through Amazon because with Prime shipping, it still equals out to be the same price, and I get it in two days. But this saves a lot of frustration, okay? Now, if you look on Amazon, you're going to see a lot of negative reviews because people don't do their research, all right? I looked at a lot of reviews and wanted to use this, and I found a lot of people figured out that a lot of the problems with this particular product is because you didn't prepare the product properly, even though it doesn't include it in the instructions. There are plenty of reviews, including mine, uh, on Amazon that tell everybody exactly what to do. The first thing you want to do if you do buy one of these, tighten that screw, tighten that screw. Okay, don't torque it down because it is plastic, it will strip. But once you do that, you're going to open up this loading port, you're going to fill it up with BBs, and you're going to put no more than three drops of Pelgin oil or other type of lubricant in there. Okay, when you do that, you're going to give it a good shake. Once you shake it up, okay, and you, you make sure you have a good sl slight coating of oil on all those BBs, all right, you're going to be able to just line this up with this loading port and see if I can do it from behind the camera, all right? And if you do it the right way, well, I, I can't really do it from behind the camera, but if you do it the right way, all right, you can actually load this quite quickly. Now, sometimes it's going to be a little less frustrating to actually load it one by one, all right, and I will bring this speed loader up again because there's another CC pistol that I will bring, be bringing up later uh, that the speed loader actually works rather well with. Uh, now, with this sliding mechanism, it's a little bit iffy because when you use the speed loader, it doesn't always flow down to here. So, one by one may be the best course of action for this one. Now, we'll put it in the pistol. Gives a nice, satisfying click. Now, to pierce the CO2, we have the ever-present and unfortunate lug on the bottom. Now, I don't like the lug, but I do like the fact that they tried to hide it. All right, so it doesn't break the lines of the pistol. You don't even know it's there unless you turn the pistol upside down and you see it. So that's fine and ducky. So insert your CO2 cartridge, twist this down, pierce it. It pierces fine every time, so there's not going to be any loss. Of course, make sure you have a dot of uh, silicone oil or non uh, non-petroleum oil, okay? I have used Pelgun oil in the past. However, several air gun manufacturers I've actually talked to have said don't use anything petroleum-based because eventually it will break down the O-rings and seals inside the gun and will cause the CO2 to leak and the gun to fail. So don't do that. But uh, once you have the magazine in there and it's loaded, of course, you have a safety, a thumb safety. Flip it up, flip it down. Unfortunately, it's not truly ambidextrous. This is fake. This is not real. All right. It would have been nice. Uh, I'm not left-handed, so it's not that much of a bother for me. But safety on, safety off. When the safety is on, the trigger is completely blocked. Okay. There is no movement for the trigger, and you can stand on that thing. It's not going to fail. All right. It's not going to gauge the hammer at all. But when, this, when it is on fire, okay, you do have single and double action, as I've said before. Single and double action means single action is pulling the hammer back. Now, it only gives one little click, so it's not as satisfying as other pistols that I have, but it's sufficient. And then, of course, you pull the trigger. Now, when you pull the trigger, you're going to feel the trigger catch that loading mechanism that I mentioned before. And you're going to feel it catch, and you're going to feel it push it forward. Now, you're not going to feel it so much with an empty magazine, all right? but with a loaded magazine, you will definitely feel exactly the moment when that BB does load. Now, you have to make sure of this. You have to complete your action at this point. 
do not half pull the trigger and then let it go. If you half pull the trigger and let it go, you're going to double feed your barrel, or your breech rather, and you're going to have a BB stuck in the barrel. If it cannot take two BBs at the same time, you will have to rod your barrel at that point because at that point the gun will not fire and it will jam. Okay? I learned that the hard way. So learn from my mistakes, folks. All right, so when you pull the trigger, you will feel that loading ramp engage, push it into the breech, and then you will fire the gun. Now, of course, as I said, double action as well. So that means when you pull the trigger, it engages the hammer, pulls the hammer back, engages the loading mechanism, pushes a BB into the breech, and fires the gun. Now, as you know from the last video, I really like my accessories. So I decided I want to go a little bit something different all right, uh, than a regular tactical light. I wanted something a little bit meaner. This is a larger pistol. It's not the revolver uh, from Umarex. So uh, I went with the same company. Put this down here. Went with the same company that I did the last time. And I purchased something a little bit bigger. Now, as you can see here, it has pretty much, it's the same company, Defendtech. Uh, link in the description. And it has the uh, the same light, all right, uh, same 350 lumen light. It has the same switch. It has the same uh, uh, retention rail. It has the same lug, all right, same mechanism. Everything is the same except for this little piece down here, which they've added, all right, and here is your battery compartment, all right, which uh, holds uh, three button cells, all right. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the button cells are, but they are in there. And then, of course, you have this little switch, which, when you turn it on, gives you a nice bright laser. All right, so who doesn't like a laser with their tactical light? I know I do, and you should too. So when you add this on to this pistol, it definitely gives it a meaner look. And, of course, just as bright. Strobe warning for those who uh, are sensitive to that. And still has the same strobe as the last one. And then, of course, you have the laser sight. Now, the laser sight, of course, is adjustable with an Allen key wrench that is included. Just like the other Defendtech tactical light, it does include a rechargeable CR123 cell. It will work with a regular CR123 cell and also includes the charger. Now, this retails for about $37 or so. Okay, it is about $8 more pricey uh, or so than the original one. And uh, the reason I put it on this pistol, well, it fits better. All right, and I've tried putting this particular light on my broad axe revolver, and I just don't like the lines as much. All right, uh, this one, it's a, it's a beefier pistol, so I do like the fact that you know, the laser is there and it's really neat. Now, of course, since it is a CZ pistol, it does have one feature. Uh, that all CZ pistols share, and it's a really neat one. Uh, all CZ pistols come with this tool, all right, or a variation thereof. Okay, it's made of plastic, all right, and uh, built like a hex key. Now, what you can do with this is any CZ pistol, you will see that the barrel tip, well, if I had it in there, the barrel tip, and this is the barrel tip. All right, would be in there and you would use this tool to unscrew the barrel tip okay once the barrel tip is unscrewed and I already have it out as you can see here it will reveal threads now what you can do with the threads is add on more accessories because we need more Gucci gear with our BB guns we want them to look like we're uh, you know we're using movie props so what you can do with that is Use one of these. Uh, now, this is a plastic suppressor. It cost about six bucks plus shipping. I got this one from Pyramid Air. It's just a hollow tube, okay? Does not provide uh, any type of actual sound suppression, all right? Um, but it, just because of physics, it may give you a little bit of suppression, okay? It may also uh, raise your FPS slightly, all right? I don't have a chrono, so I can't tell you whether or not it does or doesn't, but it does make it look mean. Uh, it is 14 millimeter clockwise threaded, so it can be used with any other 14 millimeter clockwise threaded uh, BB pistol. Do not use it with real firearms. It will fly off in pieces. But if you engage this and just screw it down, all right, and tighten that, you have a meaner looking pistol. And, you know, 
That's me. Okay. I mean, that, that, that looks mean. I love the way that looks. Uh, the only issue that I have with the suppressor is because it has plastic threads, if you do crank on this a little bit too hard, the threads will pop. And that means the, the, uh, the suppressor will become loose again. So I didn't really like that so much, although I love the look of it. Uh, I went and ahead and purchased another suppressor from Pyramid Air. This one is actually full aluminum, all right, uh, both in the in both ends, including the threads. I have included a small O-ring right here, uh, just so that it seats properly and it doesn't unscrew itself. But it has the same threads, 14 millimeter, clockwise threaded. You can crank down on that, and since it has metal threads, the threads will not pop. However, I don't like it as much. I mean, it's serviceable, right? And it looks okay, but Something about, I think it's the circumference, right? It's not as big around as the other one. And the venting on this one, the venting on this one just makes it look meaner for some reason, all right? There's no suppressor that would ever have venting like this. And not that I've ever seen on real steel suppressors, but I just like the, the venting better, all right? I think it looks much meaner that way, okay? But... It's an awesome pistol, all right? These run for, I believe, about 49 to 55 or so. Uh, I will be putting the uh, link for Pyramid Air because that's where I got this one. I don't know whether or not Amazon uh, sells these or not, but I would definitely encourage you, if you are looking for a trainer, if you have a CZ firearm, if you have an SP-01 or a CZ-75, uh, you could definitely use this as a trainer. It will fit all actual accessories for an actual CZ-75. So if you have uh, any tactical holsters uh, built for those guns, all right, or any other accessories built for those guns, they will fit on this pistol, all right, and they will fit very well. Uh, but excellent for the money, uh, excellent for the realism, and it definitely uh, satiated me as far as my new obsession. So that is the cz 75 sp01 shadow with accessories and i thank you as always for watching my videos uh, if you enjoyed it please hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you want to see more it will definitely motivate me to make more videos quicker uh, again apologies for um for uh, my hiatus i am back i'll be making more videos uh, shout out to Dan at True Canadian Air Guns for the inspiration to start making videos again about my new obsession. Also, shout out to Replica Air Guns and Backyard Planking because both of those channels uh, gave me a lot of information to make these purchases. So shout out to them as well. Make sure you check out their channels because they are the experts. So as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay on target. I'll see you next time.